Hey, what's going on? I'm A-Dub from DX Daily Podcast, and you gotta check this out. So Jay-Z and Damon Dash's legal battle over reasonable doubt appeared to reach a breakthrough on Wednesday, March 15th, when it was reported the former business partners were involved in settlement talks. Less than 24 hours later, however, that notion has been rubbished by Dash. The Harlem bred mogul jumped on Instagram on Thursday morning, March 17th, to set the record straight on his dispute with Hove, who was suing him over an alleged NFT auction of his 1996 debut album, which he argues Dame has no legal right to sell. Please don't believe this hype, we are nowhere near a settlement. They accused me of doing something I did not do and now they have to prove it, and I can sell my share anytime I want. Hashtag ask the judge. He then urged Jay-Z and their fellow Rockefeller Records co-founder Kareem Biggs Berg to settle the matter out of court while daring them to respond to his Instagram post. Jay-Z and Bigsburg, if you want to settle this, holla at me. We used to hustle together. Court is corny. Let's talk like men for the culture. I dare y'all to respond. Hashtag do it for the culture. Jay-Z and his attorney, Alex Spiro, filed a lawsuit against Dame Dash in June 2021, accusing him of attempting to auction off reasonable doubt as an NFT without permission. The auction never took place, but they accused Dame of frantically scouting for another venue to make the sale. Dash refuted the allegations and instead claimed he was simply trying to sell his entire one-third stake in Rockefeller Records. He later countersued Jay-Z and Rockefeller for $1 million, accusing Hove of wrongfully claiming streaming rights to reasonable doubt for himself. In a filing in Manhattan Federal Court on Tuesday, March 15th, Spyro said that Jay-Z and Dame Dash are in the process of meeting and conferring to determine whether they can reach a settlement agreement that will resolve this case. If a settlement is not reached, he said Hove will file a separate motion to permanently ban Dash from selling any portion of reasonable doubt. A judge temporarily prohibited Dash from minting the album as an NFT last June. Despite all the legal drama, Jay-Z and Dame Dash's relationship hasn't been entirely turbulent in recent months. During his Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction speech last October, Hope took a moment to salute his former Rockefeller partner. Thank you, and Jay. You thank you, thank, thank you for acknowledging Dame you know, Dash. Days later, Dame Dash reciprocated the love and signaled his intention to squash their long-running feud. It was beautiful. I'm glad he said it for the culture. We need to squash everything. So hopefully if that was an extended olive branch, I'll spin one back. I have no beef with him if he has no beef with me. Let's get the lawyers out of it then. Let's talk like men, but I definitely appreciate it. But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast on all streaming platforms. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to tipopdx.com.